The older I get, the more I value experience. For those of you that might be at uh, that stage in life where you're beginning to reflect a lot on your younger years and beginning to take inventory of uh, where your life is at this point, maybe where you're going, uh, it's easier to value experience. You know, when you're young and the whole world and life is in front of you, uh, it's really tempting not to think too much about age and growing older and the value of experience. But when you get down the road a little bit, uh, your sense of value uh, for those experiences in life just seem to increase. The experiences that you have have taught you a lot of things about how to live life and what God is uh, trying to teach others through you and the opportunities that you have to maybe share your experiences are a great treasure and a great opportunity for you to have impact in others' lives. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 talks a little bit about the importance of experience and uh, what it teaches us and how that it sometimes can really frame our thinking about things. But there are some things that even the, uh, the many experiences that we can have in this life can't teach us. So I want to share with you 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and some verses there in the middle of this chapter that I think will really encourage us about the importance of the Holy Spirit's work in our life. So join me in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 beginning in verse 6. It says this, we do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Paul's emphasis on the Holy Spirit in this passage is really critical to our growth in our own maturity. Sometimes just getting older doesn't mean that we're getting wiser. There are some things that we can only learn if the Holy Spirit intervenes, and that is the point that Paul is driving home in these verses. I want to encourage you to think about uh, where you're at in life and what God's teaching you. Uh, you know, sometimes we can kind of get to a place where we kind of feel like, you know, I think I've learned or experienced so many things in life, I don't know what else God can teach me. And yet, he drives home this point in these verses about the value of the Holy Spirit teaching us the deep things of God. Sometimes, uh, I think we kind of live in a surface level and we don't think deeply quite often about God and what he's doing in our lives and we've kind of gotten into a routine about our, our life with Him. I want to invite us today to think about maybe renewing our sense of openness to the Holy Spirit teaching us something unique and different about our walk with Him today. Uh, these verses from uh, 1 Corinthians I think really challenges us uh, to think about the Holy Spirit's critical role in teaching us things that we can't discover in just um, our life's experiences that just kind of tick away as the clock ticks away. So let's invite the Holy Spirit today uh, to lead us down paths of understanding about our walk with Him, about our life with God that may teach us things that we've never thought about. So today is a new day, a new opportunity for us to rely on the Holy Spirit to allow Him to teach us something special about our walk with Him. So uh, let's do that today. Let's commit to Him. Let's be open to Him. Uh, let's allow the Holy Spirit to walk with us, to teach us, to encourage us as we make our way through life's uh, opportunities this particular day and this week. God bless you as you follow Him.